welcome back to Crosscut Coyote Folk Bench. I'm your host, Alvin Harrison. Um, we're at part three of how I go about making this gig bag. Um, anyway, um, hope everybody's doing well. I'm looking forward to the uh, new leadership, quite frankly. So hopefully it will do better than what was going on before. Um, uh, back to the project. Um, you know, uh, this, this is something I'm, I'm still having a whole lot of fun with. I hope you are too. So uh, without any further ado, uh, let's just go back to it. For the inner layers, the uh, that the, the layers that's going to be up against against the instrument, I chose to use a thin indoor outdoor carpet type of nylon, which I picked up at the local Home Depot. You know, it only set me back like twenty, I think it's like twenty seven bucks or something like that. But the thing I like about it is, it's you know, while it's thin, it's still got a reasonable amount of cushion to it, um, and it's kind of tough. You know, it's pretty tough. You know, it's easy to sew through. You can even uh, melt it, and, and you know that sort of thing so and, and it glues pretty good you know so with the combination of those things um, I felt like it was suitable for what I wanted to use it for inside the gig bag you know so uh, so I went ahead and, and uh, with that pattern that I used to make the the front and the back you know I uh, used the same pattern to cut out the inner layers you know and um, you know and that's what I used so I went ahead and did that you know I didn't make a video of it but it's basically the same way I cut out the the front and the back layers you know same thing before I put the inner lining pads in I go back to the the two halves that I just created and trim off the rough edges I like pockets in my gig bag, so uh, little storage areas, as long as it's not too bulky. But I tend to like the pocket to be on the inside of the bag because I just like the bag to be a, a little easier to slide if I have to push it in a vehicle or something, that no pockets to snag on and that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, it just seems more concealed that way. Um, as long as it's cushioned away from the instrument, then, and depending on how I load my stuff inside the bag, I, you know, it does, it does okay. It doesn't ruin the instrument. I haven't seen it so um uh, I tend to make the little pockets at least about two sometimes three pockets uh, some for like pedals and uh, and for uh, um, places to put like uh, you know like the 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 mixture that I use to uh, make the you know like fast fret you know the mixture that I use to to make the strings a little easier to play on you know slicker stuff like that and then you know little sweat things to wipe my face with and, if, and of course, you know, uh, cables, batteries, uh, and even um, a little tool kit I used to keep in it. So I try to make the pocket a little close to the sides. It's not a real big pocket, but I think it's deep enough. I try to make them deep enough for to suit my purpose. 
So what I do for the pockets is I cut the uh, piece of material out about the size that I want the pocket to be and uh, you know cut it out a little bit bigger so I can have a little space to tuck the corners around the edges of it so I can have something both glue and sew down against the, uh, the, the, the inside of the other fabric. I use the glue of course in place of pins you know because I don't like using the pins um, and then of course inside the glue mark which should be a very thin mark um, then that's when I sew hand. That way I don't have to sew, try to sew through the glue, you know, and that makes it easier to sew. So I hand, of course, I just hand sew that. Um, but that's usually how I pro approach the, the pockets, you know, for the, for the inside. Hey folks, thanks again for, for sticking around for part three. I'll have part four for you as soon as I get done with that, you know, just rolling right along. And I know it, it takes a little while, but you know, just little small steps about how I go about it. I really appreciate it. Um, hope everybody is uh, still enjoying it, you know, for the little short clips that it is. Um, and I hope, like I said, it's inspiring you in some shape, form, or fashion, you know. In the meantime, pursue your own art and, and you know, uh, maintain your own art and be uh, confident about it and encouraged. Um, and uh, whatever you do, be safe both in and out of your shops and, and studios and so on and so forth. And keep a smile on your face, uh, hang around positive people, um, and try to try to be as encouraging as you can, uh, even of your own contributions. You know. Okay. All right. Um, this is Alvin at uh, Crosscut Coyote Folk Bench. I'll see you again next time, um, and hopefully that won't be long. You know. Okay. All right. See you again. Thanks for hanging out and be cool.